I swear, another day at this stupid motel. Well, we might as well go get to work. I told Fang that I'd go help him down there on the uh, old public works since he helped us out the other day. So that's what we're going to do. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. This is on the whitelisted roleplay server with all your favorite creators. We will continue to add even more creators as the series moves on. And don't forget that if you want to play right alongside with us, we have five servers available. Uh, both offering DLC and non-DLC content. You can apply to join at theformalpickle.com. All right, we are pulling in the backside to uh, show on up to work here. Oh, I wonder if he's going to get that for me. Here, let me get let me get the gate for you. Hey, appreciate that. Can I park anywhere? Yeah, just park anywhere. It's fine. We've got plenty of spaces. All right. Whatever you want. Morning, morning. How you morning, doing? Morning, Jeffy. Have your coffee and your, uh, your stuff for your breakfast oh, this morning? Oh, yeah. Had me a little coffee hey. on the drive down here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put you to work this morning. So, mm, well, that's right, what I'm well, here for. Well, I've already, I've already been work uh, working for about uh, about 45 minutes, so I've already gotten most of the equipment down there. Now, what we are gonna have to do though is we're gonna have to take a little uh, UTV, uh, hook it up to this last. Uh, we forgot to put this sign out yesterday. This other one. Okay. So we're gonna hook it up to that, and then we're gonna head on down there and start mowing. So. Let's sure. go ahead and get the hard part out of the way. Let's get the gate open here. Yeah, I love this little UTV for you know hauling small stuff like this. It's it's the perfect thing. Oh yeah, these things are so nice. They're a little pricey though, but they're so nice. Yeah, they are. Actually, let me pull over here. Can you hop out and get the gate there for me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me do that. Hopefully, this won't take the entire day of your day. But uh... yeah, no, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I've always uh, I've always wanted to see what y'all do. Um, so I'm looking forward to being part of it. I'm going to let you out here. Okay. And what I'll do is I'm going to grab my truck, which is the one with the yellow lights on, and I'm going to take this sign up to the top of the North End Road where we're going to finish up cutting today. Okay. Uh, that way it's, you know, we got signs in both directions. So everybody knows that we're working. Yep. You want me to um, just go you, ahead and do the pre-trip on the tractor and then start mowing? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and just check them both out for me, if you don't mind. Sure. All right. So while he handles that, we are going to do a pre-trip inspection. Oh, on hey, both one thing these. while you're at it, make sure that you uh, use the beacons for sure for safety. All righty. Will do. As I was saying, we're going to go ahead and go through a pre-trip inspection on both of these. So first things first, make sure I walk back here. I hydraulics are, uh, are connected and they, 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 uh, and we're going to make sure that our PTO is, uh, um, uh, but we're going to make sure that the ball hitch is at least, uh, yeah, no, that looks good. That looks good. All right. So we just finished our inspection. Everything's looking fine. We're going to go ahead and take the first one and, uh, fire it up. Let's see. Welcome. It says, oh, that was pretty. That was neat. Did y'all see that little screen? Okay. You know what? I think we should be about good to go here. I'm just going to back up a hair and uh, we'll get started mowing. All right. You know what? I'm going to leave the hard side to him and we're going to take the easy side here. So I am just going to, uh, well, I can mow against traffic. I'm sure that'll be okay. I do got to make sure. Yep. We've got our, uh, our beacons on. I want to make sure that that was the case, but otherwise I would have got yelled at. So for those of you who are new to this series, this series is a role play series where anyone can have whatever business they want. They can farm. They can work for the public county like we are right now. They can um, own a equipment dealer. They can be a mechanic, a vet. Whatever you want to do, you can do. It's really, really cool. Really focused in on role play. So if this is something that interests you guys, then you can apply to join at theformalpickle.com. If applications are closed, then know that they will reopen eventually. We're just, uh, we have a lot of applicants, so we have to get through them all. All right, there we go. Sneak right on around the the sign to the town there and straighten her back out looks good we'll just keep mowing on down this i don't want to get too far down into the ditch there i think we should be about good right here and looks like right up straight ahead boss has just showed back up with the truck so i'm hoping that i'm okay and i'm not gonna get yelled at guess we'll see hey boss you got a cb in that one up there that's big 10-4 all right i just want to let you know that uh i'm mowing away back here things seem to be going all right i got a question for you how fast are you comfortable mowing uh usually i try to keep around uh, between 10 and 12. okay i was gonna say i'm running about 10 or so right now yeah i noticed that you took the easier side of the road there i, I don't blame you on that it's these telephone <laughs> poles get annoying after a while 
Yeah, I mean, I I even still have a few signs over here that I'm annoyed at, but at least I don't have those poles every however many feet. Oh, it looks like somebody let their corn go. Or no, those are sunflowers. They let their sunflowers go over here. They're all dead. No, is that so? Probably claimed the insurance yeah. on them. Oh, yeah. Did I mention the push mowers? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to be dealing with some push mowers today. Yeah, we got to do a little cleanup after, you know, because these, uh, we want it, want it to look good. So these, uh, these mowers, they, they're really wide, but they don't get real close into the telephone poles and, uh, fences like you're saying. Right. You know, things like that. So we, we can only get so close with these big machines. I got you. Yeah, I'm, uh, kind of witnessing that right now there's uh somebody must be trash day they set their bins out and not my department i don't know when trash day is i can't remember all right well i've made it across the bridge so you're not too far behind me i don't think nope nope coming up to the bridge here just maybe i don't know quarter mile less than that oh i think i barely see you up there yeah there's just a hint of orange peeking over that bridge yeah you know what and here i am telling you to turn on the beacons and i completely forgot to wow that's why I couldn't see you. Uh, Shame. Yep, that's it. That was it. Never mind that I'm in a gigantic orange tracker. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that it being orange helps quite a bit. You know, I heard another fella um, has was talk. I was talking to him the other day. They were thinking about putting in their application for the public works company. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you well, might know him. He's he moved into the area recently. He goes by the name of Square. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was talking to him earlier, and uh, sounds like he'd be interested. Well, that uh, that sounds that sounds like a deal. I, uh, I mean, you know, we'll, uh, if, if you talk to him before I get the application or whatever, tell him yeah. Absolutely. We'll let him know. Did you hear a fine fella moved on into town recently? He bought this uh, this here farm. Oh, the one on uh, the left uh, left side of the road there? Yeah, the one I'm passing up right here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who bought it. I just I heard I was talking to old Jim at Casey's getting our coffee mm -hmm. the other day and he said that somebody bought this old place here yeah i'm sure we'll get to know him at some point here i mean i'll tell you what i feel like having two uh two guys going on these roads really speeds up the mowing process it does it really does well i mean it, it cuts it in half that's yeah. for sure yeah and these uh these mowers no pun move intended. at a good speed <laughs> bingo all right my side is done i'm gonna go ahead and start heading back down your side here okay you're gonna pretty much be at that uh, four-way that's that's, I'm, that's yep. where i am right now so okay yeah if you want to i tell you what if you're would you like me to just hang a left get, yeah hang a left and i'll hang a right and then we'll just keep, keep going down that road all right oh now i got the poles oh 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 my hey boss it gets a little steep over here yeah you're not stuck are you I'm kind of afraid to move, I'm going to be honest. I think I should be All able right. to get up out of this, but it is it Give is me steep. just a second. Let me pull around here a second. Give me just a second. All right, what have you gotten yourself into? Oh, boy, okay. <laughs> yeah, I am almost stop. tipped, man. This is... I think the only thing keeping me here is my mower. Ooh-wee, that is steep. Oh, boy. Let me... Here, you hop out. Let me hop in and try to get it around this. So that way, I don't want you getting hurt just in case something goes wrong. Oh, uh, right okay. Let, let me hop in and I'm just going to ease it around here. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. All right. I'll just be more mindful of it. I wasn't expecting such a steep little uh, drop there. Yeah, I wasn't either. That was a... That's a pretty major little drop. And inside the pole. Oop. Oh, you're good. Yeah, that's not. That's not nowhere near as steep. Yeah, that was a lot better. All right, and at the end of this road is the end of our uh, territory where we are actually allowed to cut. So once we get to the end of this, we need to turn around, and go back, and we will start cleaning up the, the little ins and outs that we missed with the uh, big mowers. Oh, all right. Sounds like a plan. Whoa. Hey now. Boss, I almost hit a deer in the Kubota. Well, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, good you don't say. Not, good, good thing we got rid of the deers, and then it would be deer on deer violence. Right. All right, so I'm thinking what we need to do is, since there's a little access oh, road to this oh. feet. Oh. You all, whoa. you all right? What happened back oh. there? Oh, hold on. I think I'm fine. You know how I said I almost hit a deer? Yeah. I hit a deer. Oh, no. He ran right into me, but I think he hit the tire. He, He's standing oh, up right down there. He ran off, so I think he's okay. But Yeah, I don't really see anything either, so I think we're good. So I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of pull over to the side here, out of the way, 
off the road a little bit and close to our tri our uh, push mowers here. Well, you know what we can do. I mean, if you're What's that? if you're down for it, one of us can run the mower. The other one can take the UTV we got. When we got some trash bags in the back of uh, your truck, we can have someone run around and just start picking up some trash. Yeah, that would work. Got to make that nice and straight and we'll be good to go. If you can take care of that sign for sure, I'll go ahead and start picking up trash and uh, meet you back uh, up here when you're done. All right, sounds good. I'm trying to just finish up this last little uh, stretch here. We're getting these poles cleaned up, and we'll get that sign down there cleaned up like you said to do. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know that uh, they even did this. I figured, you know, you, you take your pass on your on your tractor, and that's good enough. Hey, boss. How's it going? Oh, hey. hey well, let me shut this thing down here. Uh, there we go. It's going all right. As you can see, I've made it just about all the way down this stretch here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. looks pretty good. I'll tell you what, I've been getting some of this trash up. Um, there's something... Well, let's... Uh, let me show you kind of what we've got going on here. If you'll come hop in the Kubota. Okay, yep. Take you back down the road here and show you what I got. Um, now, we've got several bags that we're going to need to clean up later, but uh, there's something down here I'm going to need your help with. There's... Uh, I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. Uh, now, this over here on the right, though, is what I'm talking about. This... Uh, I don't... I, I, I do not know what this is. This is a... What do you call it? Um, if you look at a grain silo, uh -huh. and you look at the leg where you can like you can you can shift which bin you're gonna go into, it's a split. It's a. Uh, oh, you know what I'm okay. Trying to say? That's what. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what this thing is. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was either that or kind of. You know what? It you know what my first thought was. It looked like an air raid siren. <laughs> it kind of does. It kind of does. You're not wrong. You know? Yeah. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a heavy old thing right here. Uh, yep. I don't know that honestly. I don't think we're gonna fit it in the old Kubota. Yeah, well, I don't think it'll fit there either, and I don't. I don't know that we'll be able to pull it out either. Uh, we no. might have to get the. Uh, we might have to call this in for somebody else to come pick up. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and load up some of these uh, trash bags here, and yeah. uh, we'll we'll get them all all collected together, and uh, yeah, and then we'll. Once we get all those collected in, we're going to have to call it a day, I think. All right. Well, it looks like we got them all. That's a, yep. that's a good bit of trash for one day. You know what? That's, yes, I, it, sir. It, it, ama it never ceases to amaze me how much just total crap people throw out of their vehicles and just on the side of the road. It's, I, I mean, know. It, I mean, it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags, is it? Nine bags? Nine bags. Full. And that's Slap full. And these are 50-gallon trash bags. Yeah, and that's just this road. Just this road. Yeah. I don't, I'm I'm not even looking forward to what we're gonna find on the highway, the main the main roads. Me either, me yeah. either. But that's for another day. Let's go ahead. That is for and another day. Thing, uh, put away and it's it's. Uh, you know what? Bed is calling my name. It's been a long day. Yes, it has, man. I sure do appreciate your help. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely get you out here working with us again. That's for sure. All right. Well, let's get all this loaded up.